1959 year on February 1st, a group of experienced tourists led by Igor Dyalov began climbing to the top of 1079. They didn't have time to get up to the darkness and spread a tent right on the slope. Started to triple for the night. And then something terrible happened. As the investigators later established cutting the wall of the tent with knives, the tourists rushed in panic horror to run down the slope. They fled, who was in what, underwear, half-naked, barefoot. Later, the corpses of all nine members of the group were discovered down the hill. Most died of hypothermia. Several people had terrible internal injuries, while the skin was not damaged. The cause of the tragedy is still unknown. December 14, 1958, the newspaper, Youth of Yakutia, wrote about a giant monster living in Lake Labankir, Omyakon district of Yakutia. Russia local residents of Yakut believe that a huge animal lives in the lake, the Labankir devil, as they call it. According to the descriptions of the Yakuts, this is something of a dark grey colour with a huge mouth. The distance between the eyes of the devil is equal to the width of a raft of ten logs. According to legend, the devil is very aggressive and dangerous, attacks people and animals, is able to go ashore. The fall of the Tunguska meteorite, allegedly, caused an air explosion that occurred in the region of the Podkamania Tunguska River, with a capacity of 40 to 50 megatons. An explosion on Tunguska was heard over 800 kilometers from the epicenter. A forest on an area of 2,100 square kilometer was blown up, and the windows of some houses were knocked out within a radius of 200 kilometers. Shortly after the explosion, a magnetic storm began, lasting five hours. A strange half-dead creature was discovered in a cemetery in 1996 in the village of Kailanovi near Kaishtim, on the territory of Russia, by a lonely pensioner Tamara Vasilyevna Prosperina. The creature is known as the Kaishtim Dwarf. The creature consumed human food, looked strange and smelled. The creature's body length was approximately 30 centimeters, it had a trunk, arms, legs, a head with a high frontal lobe, mouth and eyes. The pensioner gave the creature a baby name, Alyashenka. Alyashenka lived in the pensioner's house for about a month. Unfortunately, a strange find and life in the same apartment with an unknown creature did not go in vain for a woman. A few months later, the pensioner was taken to a psychiatric hospital. The apartment was sealed and the mysterious creature, left without food, died and gradually mummified. This was discovered by a certain citizen Nertinov, who took the dried body to his home and kept it in the refrigerator until the police confiscated the corpse of Alashenka. The mummy of the creature was discovered in August 1996 by police captain Yevgeny Mokachev during his investigation into the theft of an electric cable. The policeman who discovered the mummy handed it to his colleague, Vladimir Bendlin, who began his own investigation about the origin and nature of the creature. But soon the mummy, Alishenka, disappeared under strange circumstances.